Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. This is part 7 of SQL series where we will be utilize having clause. So guys, having clause basically used to filter the SQL aggregated result. Alright, so whenever you are going to apply any aggregated operators, okay, with the help of group by or without using group by and in case you want to filter that information, so you need to utilize the having clause. Alright, so more specifically with the help of having clause, we can filter the data that has been grouped, okay, and it's work after grouping the rows with the help of group by. So I will give you lots of example to understand the having clause. All right. So guys here I am having the information related to the employee. So let's say if I want to show you how many employee we have as total employee from employee DB. Okay. So it is working fine here. But let's say if I want to filter for an example having clause I want to utilize the count here asterisk let's say greater than 30. So do we have 30 records in this particular employee DB? So I can check with the help of having class. So I'm not getting any information. Remember one thing. So you know sometimes some people are confused. Can we use having without group by or aggregate function? So can we utilize this? Example, let's say again, I am going to show you the employee DB, right? And now I want to display the records where the occupation is professional. So what I will do? So people are saying having occupation equal to professional. Okay. So can I utilize this kind of information here? Let's try. So guys here I am getting an information employee DB dot occupation is invalid in having clause because it is not contained in either an aggregated function or group by clause. So in MS SQL server this particular statement will not work anymore. But the same statement I want to utilize in the MySQL workbench. So look at this. So here I am able to filter the records where the occupation is professional. Right. So this thing you need to keep in mind. So guys here I'm not utilizing any SQL aggregated operators or any group by statement. Still having clause is working fine just like a where clause. Interesting. So guys let's take another example. Can you find out the department and occupation with total year income greater than 100k? So for an example I want department ID. I want occupation. Okay. From which table? Employee DB table. Okay. And here I want sum of yearly income okay as total income right from employee db and here i will be utilize the group by so this is my select list right so simple i can copy here and i can paste now having so here first of all let me run this so here i am getting this result okay so based on the total income i want to filter my yearly income okay so what i will do having sum of yearly income greater than 100k. So when I'm going to run this, so you can see the output, right? Sometime people are trying with the help of alias name of this column. So can we write? So again, in MS SQL Server, this particular column is invalid. It will not work anymore. But the same statement you are going to utilize in this particular application, which is MySQL workbench, it will work fine. Okay. And here you can also supply some of yearly income as well. So guys, minor difference between MS SQL Server and MySQL workbench. Okay. This thing you need to keep in mind. Interesting. All right. So guys, let's take another example. I want to find out grade with an average sales greater than 3000. Okay. So it means I want to filter grade by their average sales after grouping it is very easy so i will be utilized here the again grade and average of sales and here this is my average sales from employee db and here i need to utilize the group by grade and now i want to filter the data based on my average sales so average sales which is greater than 3000 interesting let me run this so you can see 
okay so guys in the next query i want to find out occupation and grade wise employee count their total sales and their average income okay so guys here i want to combine where to pre-filter the data and having to filter group based on the condition let's take an example so here i have occupation in case let's say you don't want to write the column name so simple you can write here from employee db now you can write here occupation and grade okay and first of all i want here the count of employee id okay as employee count and now i want sum of sales as total sales and here i want average of my yearly income as average income from employee db interesting now guys i want to filter the data okay i am not going to group based on the yearly income i am going to filter the data so here i am writing some random number let's say 40000 okay so this is pre filters employee with minimum yearly income now i want group by based on occupation and based on grade interesting and after that i want to filter the data based on sum of sales okay first of all let me show you only this query so you can understand so here i have occupation grade their employee count total sales and average income now i want to apply the filter based on total sales so here i will be right 5000 so when i will run this so here you will able to see i am having occupation and their sales which is greater than 5000 and their average income also greater than 40000 interesting now guys let me perform some operation on other data set so here i have select star from superstore so i hope you guys are aware with this data all right so guys right now i want reason and category of total sales with a specific range so here my the table name is same and now i want reason and category all right and the sum of sales as total sales okay from superstore and now i am going to group by based on reason and based on category interesting now i want to filter the data based on a specific range let me run this first so you can see here let me round as well because it's look inconsistent so i am going to round up to two decimal point let me run once again okay now i want to filter the data let's say sum of sales greater than for an example this number and sum of sales less than with this number just an example now when i'm running this so here you can see i am having the total sales between this specific range interesting so guys now i will give you the detailed sales analysis by reason and category okay so which means i want to demonstrate multiple aggregated function with having and filter based on range of counts all right so simple from this table what i want i want reason i want category okay i want round sum of sales up to two decimal point and here i am saying this is my total sales and now i want round average of sales again up to two decimal point and this is my average sales and similarly i want count how many records i have so this is your total count and now i want round which is max sales up to again two decimal point so this is your max sales and similarly i want min of sales with two decimal point from superstore after that i want to filter the data based on a specific category so i want to exclude the technology so the same example guys i have given you in the last session okay so you can find out that particular video in the i button all right so here i am going to filter the data okay which means i am going to excluding a specific category before group by now i want group by based on reason and based on category interesting 
now I want to utilize the filter so simple having count I want to utilize here the between class so simple between 500 and 1000 okay and I want to sort the data based on my order by class and here I am going to utilize total count okay guys so I hope you understood what I am doing here interesting now let me run this so here you can see I have a reason category category is not coming for technology total sales average sales total count more specifically in a specific range which is 500 to 1000 and similarly I have max sales and minimum sales interesting so guys now let me tell you some specific concept related to the having clause so guys we can utilize the having clause basically filter the group data as I just mentioned so guys unlike where which filters row before grouping but whenever you are going to utilize having clause so having filter groups after they have created okay so once you perform the group or you can say that group by then you can utilize the having clause the next point here working with aggregated function so you can use aggregated function like sum average count max min so we cannot utilize these particular operator in where clause so you will get an exception once you utilize let's say where sum of sales greater than any specific number now the next point is you need to used with or without group by so guys basically having is used with group by to filter groups but it can also be utilized without using the group by statement to apply condition or aggregated function on the entire data set as we have seen in the very first example now guys what is the key difference between where and having clause so here I have write some scenarios so the first scenario filter row based on row column value so we will be utilize the where clause why because it filter row at the earlier stage okay so your query will faster right because we are not going to perform group by and any some other operations then I am going to filter the data on that filter data I am going to perform group by so if you want to filter row based on aggregated data then you need to utilize having clause and it works on the group result can be evaluated aggregated function like count sum average max min etc no aggregation just row level filtering so guys where right so we will be utilized where when you are not utilizing any aggregated operator so guys it is more efficient because it reduces the number of rows as we have seen when I was excluding the category not equal to technology all right and the last concept here applying condition after aggregation so we will be utilized having clause so it allow filtering based on aggregated calculation all right so guys please practice of this particular session whatever we have covered please write these query by your hand and you can utilize the same data or you can utilize other data set as well in case you are going to find any difficulty in order to understand any concept please let me know in the comment box and for now thanks for watching and have a great day